time for the band for the classes. I make lyric videos for other bands that are not on tour or when we are on tour. I do that there. I did, recently I did, I did one for the band Ann Arbor. Um, damage I've done, and then I did a, another one for Action Item recently called Great. Oh man, I mean, I've been playing, I started out playing drums when I was seven, and then uh, I got into songwriting by the end of high school, and then uh, we just gathered a bunch of friends and we went, man, let's try to do this. And just never looked back, it's still, it's still really strong. Okay, so I've had this question before, and this is how I like to put it in one sentence. I like to say, if picture a New York City vibe band going to Las Vegas for a weekend, and just, uh, just going out. I think that song just for me is like, when that record plans came out, I was like, that was just one of those songs, I was like, okay, this is a timeless song, it's so good. So it's just always been like such a romantic song for me, and I was like, man, we're doing a lot of hopeless our record labels, Valentine's Day sample, I was like, yeah, this would have been perfect for that. It's just, it's just always just like such a great song for me, so. Yeah, I mean, we're all, there's always a couple covers of it. Like, we did a, last, last tour we did in the summer, we did like an iPhone sessions thing where we did, I did a couple covers like by myself and I did some of the band, and we just did a couple different things. We did a couple like Magic Dragons as a band in, in our band and just like played like on the ground and whatever, like with one microphone like, into our iPhone. And we do, we'll do like random covers in there. Love them all. My favorite one that I've recently done is Phoenix as a Get back to me for the next thing. Okay. Probably. Yes. I usually write all the songs and do the journal and writing and then uh, the band is super supportive of that and then I'll, I'll get together with them and go to the studio and work out some stuff and, and try to do some things and do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a little bit of both. For me, it's everything that I write about is usually has to do with my life or, or the things that I'm dealing with or just...
how to get to the line on the range. It's more about the hang, like if you can hang with each other, like yeah, yeah. you learn to, to deal with each other's positions, you know? So, kind of, I mean, we all get along really well. I mean, for me, there's just like sort of things like the other night we played like a sold out New York City show in Rehearsal, and like just for me, like that's always been like a super amazing thing. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, playing a sold out show in New York City, you know, which is like we're from New Jersey, so it's like really mm -hmm. close, and just like a very like fulfilling moment for me, you know, and just being able to do these tours and doing more tour for the first time this year is just like super overwhelming in, in a good way. So I think just like overall, just like watching yourself grow as a band has been the most amazing thing. Seems no, really. we're not ready at all. <laughs> I was gonna call from my manager the other day, like, what do you guys want to drive in? I'm like, I don't know, what are we gonna do? We have no money. I'm trying to figure it out now, so we're kind of, there's a lot of stuff we need to figure out, like, what we're gonna, yeah. where we're gonna sleep every night, what vehicle we're taking, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a lot. Like, we've heard, like, crazy stories, so we're like, we're working things out now, but I'm really excited for it, you know. Uh, I just wanna say thank you guys for coming out to all these shows and, and being so supportive of Forty Foxes and watching us play every night. And, Thanks to all the bands for taking us out of the store. We'll see you guys in the workshop.